have gone to the fair so far, and the crowds have meant a big economic boost for nearby businesses and vendors. News 5's Ashley Portillo joins us live with the details. Hi, Ashley. Allison, a good afternoon. So not only are people spending here at the spending money here at the Colorado State Fair, they're also spending their money at nearby businesses just outside of the fairgrounds. And it has been a very big boost in some of those businesses and for others, it's actually also the largest fundraising effort of the year. Business owners say the Colorado State Fair brings in more customers. Combination with Labor Day weekend and the fair does boost the business by 30, probably 30 percent at least. Gene Horseman is the owner of Pueblo Liquor right next to the fair. He says the weekends are the busiest. The weekends are the, are the, have the biggest impact and the nights there are concerts or some special event, there'll be a lot more traffic. Volunteers work in the parking lot at his business where every car parks raises funds for two causes. The more cars that park here, the more money we can put towards our project. The more lives we save, the more kids we can help. Jerry Mastas volunteers and says all of the money generated goes to Cooper's Companion and Central High School's JROTC program. And Cooper's Companion saves animals primarily from high, high risk kill shelters. Well, there's a lot of kids and, and they have tough times and the ROTC has been there for them. The Colorado State Fair also brings in money for all of Pueblo County. $43 million was brought in during the fair last year. Which is astonishing. That's, that's a huge number. You know, we have so many local vendors here. We have people that are from around the state, staying in the hotels, eating at the restaurants, shopping downtown. Scott Stoller is the general manager of the fair, and he says more than 500 full-time and part-time jobs are brought in every year, all contributing to the overall economic impact. But it's nice to know that the activities that we do do generate um, profit for local businesses and support our community and, and I guess give back uh, in many ways. Attendance for the Colorado State Fair is also up about 12 percent this year and that is despite having reduced and limited hours throughout the weekdays at the Colorado State Fair. By the way, the busiest days coming up this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Reporting in Pueblo, I'm Ashley Portillo, News 5.